Last topic we want to talk about on circles is uh, equations of a circle. Equations of a circle are pretty simple. They're straightforward. Uh, can get very, very complicated and complex very quickly. Uh, a lot of complicated math can take place. Uh, using Getting into this, we're getting into elements of Algebra 2, um, advanced elements of Algebra 1, probably you wouldn't have some of this in Algebra 1, um, conic sections, those sorts of things, uh, real advanced Algebra 1 concepts. So, what we're looking at is the equation of the circle comes from the distance formula. Alright? Why? Because. What is the definition of a circle? The definition of a circle is that it is a collection or the loci of all points the same distance from a given point. The given point being the center. That distance from the center is described as a radius, a segment, a straight segment, of a fixed and given length. And therefore, all those points are the same distance or the radius from that center. Well, what's the distance from the center to one of those points? Can it be calculated? Sure. It can be calculated using the distance formula. All we have to do is make one of those, x and y's, represent the center. The other x and y represents a point on the circle itself. And d represents the distance between them, which would be the radius. Okay? Not too hard to figure out. Not too hard to talk about. Let's actually draw a sample of that right here where we've basically got a circle, you've got a center, and then you've got a distance right here. This distance is represented as D. We make this right here X1, Y1. This point right here is X2, Y2. Oh, well, I, you know, I like this point over here better. Guess what? This now becomes your x2, y2. Okay? Oh, I like this one over here better. Okay? So all of a sudden we have multiple points, an infinite number of points, all the way around that circle because between any two points we can put another point. Between any two numbers we can put another number. Take the two numbers, add them together, divide by two, I can put another number. So we have an infinite number of points that are all the same distance. Okay? So the distance from this y x, x2, y2 to this center is the same as this one. Oh, it's also d. Well, how many d's can we define? An infinite number. Are they all the same distance? Yes, they are. All the same length? Yes, they are. Okay? So given a point that's on circles, can we find a center? Yeah, that's a little more complicated. But typically what we're given is this. Here's a distance formula where D represents the radius and X1, Y1 represents HK, the center. Okay? If we square both sides, we get D squared equals X squared minus the quantity X squared minus uh, x1, I'm sorry, the quantity x, x2 minus x1 squared plus the quantity y2 minus y1 squared. And take that over, make these replacements, d becomes r, so we have r squared equals x minus h, quantity squared, plus the quantity y minus k, quantity squared. Or we can reverse that. Pretty simple, straightforward turns into a lot of different concepts and can get very complicated and create some very complicated equations and uh, algebra 2 type stuff pretty quick. Okay? We're going to do some fairly simple uh, things and then uh, go from there. Okay? Okay, here's some uh, examples. 
working with some problems on equations of circles. You need to write an equation for as a center here, radius here, what's that equation look like? Okay? If I have a center 0, 0, well, look at our sample. We've got this would be x squared plus y squared equals radius is 8. We square that, 64. So that's what that one is. Okay? x is 2. Uh, okay, center is 2, negative 1. Where is that going to be? Well, we subtract the center from the x. So we're going to go x minus 2 squared plus y plus 1 squared equals, what's 1 squared? 1. Okay? Let's look at this one. Center is at negative 2, negative 6. We subtract these from it, so what's that going to look like? If we subtract the negative, we end up with a positive plus y plus 6 squared. Now, this says diameter equals 8. If we have a diameter of 8, what is the radius? It's 4, so this is going to be 16. All right? Find the center. Given an equation, what is the center? All right? We don't have anything. This is just an x squared and a y squared, where if there's nothing there, what happened over here? It's just the reverse of this. Center is going to be 0, 0, and the radius equals the square root of this, which would be square root of 20. Okay, I think this equals 2 square roots of 5. It's about 4.5 or something like that. What's the center of this one? We're supposed to subtract that, so if we subtract it, and we got a plus, that means that that has to be a negative, and this has to be a negative, so the center's at negative 4, negative 3, and the radius is the square root of 16, which is 4. Okay? All right. Let's look at this one. This one's fairly straightforward. x minus 2, y minus 1. Well, the center is where? We're looking at 2, 1, radius is the square root of 9. Okay? So that's what we're looking at as a simple one. What we're going to do next is, uh, okay? And we can get fairly complicated with some things and uh, on this pretty quick. Obviously we're looking at some fairly straightforward double quadratics. Uh, we can get really happy with doing the complete the square when you have some very uh, complicated quadratics. And, we may try one of those here in just a few minutes.